so so hello guys uh, in the previous video for the website um, on godaddy we have created a website we have hosted it so in this video uh, so we have we have purchased uh, the domain and the hosting and in this video we will be creating a website using wordpress so uh, when we are on the cpanel login uh, here so how we got onto the cpanel login let me just show you again um, So when you log in into your uh, uh, GoDaddy account, it'll just show you a cPanel uh, button. So it, it shows you a cPanel admin button. And um, this is the cPanel login and this is the password. So after clicking this, you'll arrive here. So now we will go to this Installatron application installer and we will search WordPress here. So my favorite is WordPress and again there are two options for the WordPress. So WordPress classic, do not install it. Just go ahead with the latest WordPress blogging and do install. So it says that uh, which domain uh, this website or the WordPress should be linked to. So yes, this is correct. So directory is optional and by default, it will go to this one. So public HTML is a uh, folder on this Linux based server on which uh, this website will be hosted and that's correct. Everything inside the public, public HTML that is index.html will be the base or the first uh, file which will be accessed. Uh, which will be presented as a home page of the website. So these are all are correct versions correct except license. Yes, update on new uh, new minor version do not automatically upgrade WordPress plugins. That's also correct. It might break the website. So you can set up administrator you administrative username. I'll just do admin and then I can set up a strong password. So let me set up a strong password. Okay, so and then it can be uh, administrative email can be admin at the risk this I'll just note it down for my future purpose. And the website title will be let me say the website or the domain which I have um, created. So it says that do not enable so we can enable it later to factor authentication. Uh, so uh, we can limit the number of uh, login attempts to prevent the DDoS attack. So we can keep it enabled and enable multi-site do not enable. That's also fine. And we'll click install. So what's the last option automatically manage advanced settings for me. Yeah, that's correct. So now as um, the WordPress, if you have worked on WordPress will provide you some custom uh, templates from where you can select your website and you can get started when, within just few clicks. So the best part of WordPress is that you do not, do not need to go into the intricacies of um, what I'll say the HTML, uh, HTML tags, uh, then then placing or increasing the font and that sort. So now after after this our website is created, we'll go to WP admin. So I'll again note this because I can log in directly to the WP admin and it says that whether you want uh, the website. So I'll say all let me see.
ओके ओके सो वी आर ऑन टू द डब्ल्यू पी एडमिन ऑफ माई ऑफ आर वेबसाइट सो लेट मी गो टू सेटिंग्स एंड जनरल एंड इट सेज दैट द यू आर एल इज दिस दैट्स फाइन सो एडमिन इज दिस दैट्स फाइन एंड आई एम लुकिंग एट द होम पेज एक्चुअली ओके सो इट सेज वी आई हैव थ्री थीम्स अवेलेबल सो द डिफॉल्ट थीम आई कैन चूज दिस वन एंड दिस इज I'll just customize it. So actually, uh, uh, WordPress just provides you with the theme, right? So it removes the images and uh, all other stuff. So let me say I have done. i'm just trying to edit it and let me do a save and then let me go to dashboard okay so um to create a home page we'll be going to uh, settings reading and then i'll be selecting a static page so let me say i have this uh, sample page and now let me just uh test my website so visit website right and my cw trust sample page is here so uh, uh now i can actually Uh, and this is on cw trust dot online and now i can add more pages and uh, those will be uh, created under the sample page or maybe i can create a menu on the main and then uh, my changes in my website can be there so for example let me do the changes in the sample page uh and this page is actually not needed this paragraph is not needed so let me remove it and let me say it a home page and then let me just update it and let me refresh it so now the page is actually listed so this is pretty fast on godaddy and then you can actually uh, do the changes add some contact and other button uh, or contact and other pages so that's how it is thanks a lot have a good day